Hear the truth. I didn't even know that was a slogan. Me neither. All right, this is Clay from Lake Charles Toyota. I'm here once again with Joey LeBlanc. Say hi, Joey. Hi. He's back. I've missed him for the past two months of videos. It's been like six months since it's been video. six. Huh. No, we did one in between on lunch. We did one in between. Okay, anyway, we are inside of the new refresh of the 2016 Avalon. We're actually sitting inside of a limited model, and we're just playing with all these new features. It has everything. It has everything. But uh, we wanted to talk about how we're feeling about this new thing. I saw one come in, and it was just the base model. And it had the new front fascia, which actually replaced the fog lights. Kind of on the camera, had they replaced the turn signal indicators which I'm very excited for because now I don't have to remind everybody that I have a base model I have on one. Um, but with that being said, more importantly, the suspension change in every 2016 Avalon is totally different. Is it like the old generation? Not exactly. But it's a step up from what used to be that sporty, refined feel. Now, you can still get that in a touring model. Touring now is what replaced XLE Touring, but it actually has, that's the sporty package you can get, kind of like the XSE. Well, Can't they like added a trim level. So at this point, right. you have the XLE, the XLE Plus, right. XLE Premium, right. then your Touring level, and, and then the Limited. The limited. the limited, you're maxed out. Now, everything except for the Touring is going to have the same suspension. Uh, right. It's going to have a softer, more luxury type suspension. Right. Somewhere in between pre-2013 and, right. and the 13 it's remodel. Not, it's not quite the recliner in your living room like it used to be on the old ones. And people know what I'm talking about who has an old house. But the Touring is going to have even tighter, sportier suspension than it did in the previous year. Right. It's almost going to feel even more than a Camry SE or Camry XSE. Absolutely. XS. Absolutely. So it's, it's definitely a whole different driving experience than people are used to. But what I was super excited to discover was it has lane departure alert, which the other Avalon didn't. I don't think it was even on the other Avalon. No. The RAV4 had it and some other models had it, which... I enjoyed it because it would beep and give you a visual alert and let you know when you went over on the lines. Well, now when I hit the button to turn it on, it said steering active, no, steering control active, which kind of made me wonder, is this anything like the old lane keep assist that they had on the Prius at one point? Well, let, let's take a step back. This new lane departure alert is part of something called Toyota Safety Sense. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, the Toyota Safety Sense is a package that's going to be available on almost all the Toyota models now. They have a lane uh, Safety Sense C and Safety Sense P. P right. is for the premium models and the higher end stuff. Right. And in that, you'll get the pre-collision system with the pedestrian detection, a lane departure alert with the steering assist, which is what Joey's been talking about, the uh, auto high beams, and the dynamic radar cruise control. Right. And the previous generations... Uh, anything that had a lane departure alert was basically, that's it. It was just an alert. It let you know whenever you were drifting away from the lane. But this one has the new steering assist. Like how Joey was saying, I think only the Prius had the lane keep assist, which actually the steering wheel would nudge right. and do what it could to kind of keep you straight in the lane. Right. But this is a whole different experience. And if y'all want to actually show the steering wheel real quick, we're going down a pretty curvy road. And if I get too close to the line, it beeps at me and let me know that I got over. But you see the steering wheel is moving on its own and it's trying to overcorrect itself. Now it beeped telling me that I was way too far over. I need to keep my hands on the wheel. But this system actually corrects me. <laughs> corrects for me. Now, obviously this is a horrible driver at this point. And this car is probably horribly wondering what's going to have to happen to it. But I was just so amazed that this is... We're, like, not, we're not that far away from autopilot at this point. With radar cruise control and then having that sensitive of a system... To nudge me back into my lane, <laughs> it's really exciting. I'm pretty pumped to see what it's going to be like on the other models. <laughs> and I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's going to be a part of that Safety Sense P. So that's as awesome. long as that's that package is available, right. then that's what's going to be there. Right. I don't think it's going to be an Avalon exclusive. But uh, as far as some of the other refreshes in the Avalon is concerned, this is pretty much the same as a previous year. Absolutely. Everything inside feels the same. The seats, um, I will say, though, and maybe it just happened to me because of the one I was in, I feel like the seat is a little bit better cushion. I had a few customers that I had sold Avalon's to that felt that after a while they felt that the cushion would move from underneath it. This feels very sturdy, and it just feels a lot more plushy. That's just to me. Okay. Um, the only difference yeah. to the outside was that the taillights, they had the Vortex generators. That's really about it. Yeah. I mean, the, the interior, your seats, um, on the limited, you're still going to have the heating and ventilated seats. Every that's other model, that's only limited. Every other model is just going to have the heated seats. Uh, it's got the new Intune um, 2.0. Right. 
So you're going to have the the uh, Yelp and Facebook places and Slacker and a bunch of these other different things that are added in there that were in the new Intune system. Uh, the steering wheel looks the same. The cruise control looks the same. You do have a difference though. Right here is where your buttons are for the to turn on the yeah lane departure alert and then for your distance for your radar cruise control. Uh-huh. Yeah. But so it's mainly uh, I would say. Uh, a tech and a suspension refresh but it's well needed and i feel like it's um you can tell the difference when you get in one you'll see it initially from the front when you you have to drive one to appreciate the new suspension it, it does wonders i can say that i mean is there anything else that is notable um i feel like we will go more in depth on safety sense later uh, whenever we start to see it on more models um but any, everything else about it there is one thing I'm excited for. The Touring is going to be the only model that has those dual LED lights, daytime running lights in the front. The oh, Limited cool. is still only one. And we can show that picture later on. And, and that's the, the that LED bar strip underneath? Yeah, the second one that's, that covers your uh, high beam. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've seen commercials for all the or the pictures for all those. That's only for Touring. Got it. Got it. All right. Well, if uh, you guys have any questions about the new Avalon or Toyota Safety Sense or anything at all, just uh, leave us a message and we'll do what we can. Thanks for watching.